this is an interesting situation for me coming here to the Cantabrians to look at their Capercaillie habitat because some aspects are very similar to the situation in Scotland but some aspects are very different. Mainly the type of forest you have here. You have plenty of forest, you have a forest on a landscape scale but I don't think it's important what type of trees you have here. You have beech trees, we have mostly pine trees in Scotland but what the Capercaillie need more for rearing their chicks is what's on the ground, what's in the forest. Throughout most of the Capercaillie range, the significant food plant is the blaeberry, the vaccinium. For the females uh, nesting in, for getting into good condition for laying their eggs, for producing the caterpillars, for feeding the young chicks, but also producing berries in the autumn time. So uh, absolutely the key food plant of Capercaillie is vaccinium. Here, uh, in this little forest here, you have vaccinium, but it looks like it's been a little suppressed. Suppressed perhaps for two reasons. Uh, you perhaps have too much shade here. The canopy of the forest is a little dense here. You need perhaps more light getting in, little hot spots to allow the insects to get to the flowers, to pollinate the flowers. You have a very short vaccinium here. It's only 10, 15 centimetres. Most of our Capercaillie uh, brood habitat in Scotland, the blaeberry is 20 to 30 centimetres. I think that you could improve the habitat, creating little hot spots in the canopy where the light gets in to enhance the vaccinium and also reduce the grazing pressure. This vaccinium looks as if it's been impacted by too many animals, maybe too many deer, perhaps too many cows in the summertime. So having some areas where the grazing pressure is much more relute. And you see a very good example here where for six years now, six growing seasons, the animals haven't been able to get to this little trial plot and you have the vaccinium that's twice as strong, twice as dense and twice as high as it is outside. So this is a good indicator of the potential for this habitat.